If you're anyone like me, just starting off this journey on the RT, respiratory care practitioner program, I should say, you probably started off on YouTube, you're looking around for a video, trying to get some information about the program. Maybe you're about to start, or maybe you're interested. Well, I was that guy. When I was looking for videos, you know, I couldn't find anything recent. They have all been, you know, five, four years ago. So I wanted to give an updated video talking about the process, talking about my experiences. And so my name is Lorenzo Hines. I am in the Air Force as a reservist, actually. I am a prior service 4N, which that's just medical or a med tech, if you will. So I just started my respiratory care practitioner program this year. Um, I've actually been in it for about two months. So as a prior service, you know, I knew it would be a little different, obviously. So the process to joining really this program in general, if you don't know, or maybe you do know, I'll just go ahead and explain. Um, this is not something that you can just come in right away without any type of prerequisites. Uh, for this, you do need to have some college credits. These college credits you have to have submitted uh, for the college to approve you to attend the course. Phase one has been great. I wish I would have started this video when I first got here, but just due to different things and time constraints to study, I just haven't been able to, uh, which I'll get into at this video or maybe some other video, but um, so the, the program itself, uh, if you're if you haven't looked up into it, it's a very long program. It's one of the longest programs uh, that you can get into in the military. There are several others, but this is by far one of the longest ones. Um, initially, there are two phases, three if you're guard reserve. But essentially how it works is that the first phase is about four months or so. That's all you're studying in the books, testing, pretty much all the, the cramming of information that you'll need to get to, to then proceed on to phase two. Your phase two is where you're gonna pretty much do your clinicals. You have a preceptor who's watching you do everything and put everything to knowledge of what you just learned and stuffed in your brain. So hopefully you don't brain dump, you know, at least that you're not supposed to. You're supposed to build on to it, of course. Um, that way you can actually know what you're doing uh, when you get to phase two. Of course, they'll help you and whatnot. So it's all part of the process, it's part of the journey. So yeah, that's pretty much what phase one is about. Again, currently, I'm about halfway through. I'm supposed to graduate in November, so hopefully things will work out. I've been doing great so far. I've surpassed my expectations of what this was really going to be like. So uh, what I'll do, uh, I'll make another video kind of going over my uh, experiences, uh, thoughts on phase two, because we have gotten some information on that. I mean, even answer some questions if there have been any, if people have watched the video or maybe you know you see this video at a later time and you can still have questions because you're just now getting to it, please reach out, leave a comment. That way I can make a video to update and answer those questions. I'm also gonna work on getting some testimonials. So hopefully you can hear from some of the other students in the class, or at least my class, and also from the instructors as well. Of course, I have to make sure it's okay and it's approved and all that, but. So be on the lookout for the next video where I'll, again, share experiences, uh, maybe go more in depth about just the program, maybe things to study. Again, any other questions and things that come up to keep you all updated. So thanks for watching the video. God bless and take care.